In this video, we take a brief look at the threats that exist to a network and the ways we can prevent them, including the use of firewalls, proxies and encryption. Networks, due to their very nature, are often designed in such a way that there are many different routes into the system. This is a necessity of networks and allows organisations great flexibility in terms of communication and remote working. However, it also comes with downsides. These routes into the network are also vulnerable points of weakness. If security measures are not put in place, there would be nothing to stop unauthorised access to data, which could then be copied, altered or even deleted. We will take a look now at three methods of helping to secure sensitive data on networks. These are the use of firewalls, proxies and encryption. Firewalls effectively filter all network communication both in and out of a network. Firewalls fall into two broad categories, software and hardware firewalls, although it's quite common to get a combination of the two. A series of rules are set up and applied to traffic, and if any traffic fails the rules, it is blocked. This prevents both unauthorised traffic in and out of the network. These rules can be set up in a variety of ways. They can be set to block specific web pages, addresses or domains. They can be set to block messages that contain certain words or streams of data. A system known as stateful packet inspection can actually scan the contents of each packet as it passes the firewall. If any patterns inside the packet are spotted, such as those which match, say, the signature of a known virus, they can also be rejected. A proxy is simply another physical computer which is placed between a network and a remote source. In this way, all traffic must pass through this computer on its way both in and out of the network. In many ways, this acts much like a firewall, and often a proxy is configured as a hardware firewall. The proxy would, for example, pick up all requests for a web page. If the web page is not on its banned list, it would pass on the request. Again, on return, it could look at the web page and its contents and choose to pass it back to the user or not. In this way, a proxy makes sure there is no direct physical connection between a single user and a remote source. Encryption is a method of transforming data in an, into an unintelligible way so that it cannot be read by unauthorised individuals. Data is encrypted by means of an algorithm and a key being applied. The two main methods of encryption are symmetric and asymmetric. 